quick look at how to install PD Pro 7 Howler. Um, not quite released yet, almost there though. This is release candidate 4. Let's double click that. And what you'll see here is the standard installation. Um, let's go and click next on that. You can choose the installation folder if you are in a 64 bit system uh, like Windows 7 64, soon to be Windows 8, maybe Windows Vista 64 bit. Um, you should see the x86 folder here. You can certainly choose a different folder, but we recommend you use the default. If you already have PD Howler 6 there and you want to keep 6 alive while you also install version 7, you can choose a different folder for version 7. Or you could uninstall 6, install 7 in this folder, and then reinstall 6 somewhere else if you still really have to have it. Alright, so um, let's just take the default. I already have a version 7 there, the previous beta, and I'm just going to install on top. Uh, Project Dog Waffle Howler will still remain the name here. And oh, and there is an option here to not create a start menu folder. That's not a good idea, uh, but it's an option. And then we also have to, uh, the option to create a desktop icon. That makes things a little bit faster if you want to quickly go launch the program from the desktop without the need to click on the start menu uh, in the lower left corner of Windows. Um, and then here we go and we're ready to go. So it's very uh, quick and easy to do that. This installation will take about a minute in all. Um, it depends a little bit perhaps on the speed of your system, <coughs> the speed of the, the hard drive, <coughs> whether your antivirus checks every single file that's coming in, and there's a couple of other factors that could uh, affect that. <coughs> and um, we certainly do encourage you to run a up-to-date antivirus. Um, at the least you should scan the file before you uh, open it, before you run it. So never open it directly from the download link. That is uh, something that will potentially bypass some of the scanning that you could do manually. So your antivirus should catch it, uh, but you never know, maybe it's disabled for real-time interception when it comes in as a file from the web browser. So. Uh, for that and a couple of other reasons, we always recommend you first download the file, save it, don't open it directly from your download link, save it to your desktop or some place where you can easily find it, right click on it and scan it with your antivirus, maybe even two or three antivirus programs uh, to be absolutely sure it's safe. And then we got compatibility settings, so that's a new feature in 7 that we can do to help you with uh, Vista, Windows 7 or 8 um, to either run the program as administrator or to at least uh, let it go in what we call Windows XP Service Pack 2 emulation or compatibility mode. So you can check this box and we actually were able to do that for you right here. Here's the file the target that we will do this operation on and uh, the value that will be set and uh, here's the button you click on if you want that to happen right now. Now after that uh, you simply go and launch the program if you want to and that may fail for some reason or not and it did in this case but that's okay this says create process failed code 740 and that's probably because I did not run the installer as administrator. Uh, if I had run the installer as administrator then the installer would have the necessary permission to actually launch Dog Waffle at this time as administrator as well. Um, but that's not a big problem. We can easily go and run the program now from, I think I have it right here somewhere. Uh, I can run it directly from the desktop. Or if I go to the start menu, you'll probably find it here somewhere eventually and you can run it there. Now, whenever you find it, you can right click there and run as administrator if that is what you think you need to do. That will sometimes be necessary. It depends on so many factors on how your Windows system is configured, whether you have an antivirus program that uh, prevents it, whether you have a, um, I don't know, a UAC user account control that prevents it. And so if you need to change the properties, you can click here and go to the compatibility mode. And that's where you'll see run as uh, incompatibility for Windows XP Service Pack 2. Um, you can also here see the option privilege level, run this program as administrator. We have found that this helps in most cases. In some cases it's not even necessary to run as administrator. Um, it's recommended though that you do. And then you can also uh, sometimes find even this not necessary, like if you are actually running on Windows XP. Um, then you will not see that option. 
All right, so um, that's a quick intro for uh, how to launch it, how to install it, and then of course on to having some fun with Project Dogra for PD Howler 7. PD, PD Pro 7 Howler, that's the full official name. All right, welcome and happy wafflings. Mm -hmm. 